Because there might be something, action you've taken that offended somebody and everything. And I try every day, if I know, to apologize, hmm. to say to people, I'm sorry, to say to this, even in your house, it could just be me living, oh, maybe telling my wife, oh, no, 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 please, don't talk to me like that. I come back in the evening and say, well, I'm sorry, it doesn't cost you anything. Hmm. Because it really doesn't. So little, little things like that, you know, maybe my family, maybe my children, everything. I'm the weakest person in my family, <laughs> actually. Mm. Yes, because for me, I need to get every, I need to see everybody a bit, when you're the strongest, mm. when you're the best, it's like when you're, say, the richest. Yes. It is God giving you opportunity to care more. Mm -hmm. When you're the strongest, it should be the weakest because you're the one carrying everybody. You're the one, everybody will say, oh, you say, okay, okay, okay. Let's not worry and everything. Mm -hmm. they, if you go to my village or go to anywhere, I don't have any enemy. I don't quarrel with anybody. Mm -hmm. And people say, oh, but this man was talking yesterday, he was shouting at you. I say, well, and you could even see it politically. I don't quarrel with anybody. Mm. Everybody's my beloved brother and sister. Yeah, yeah. Because That's the reality is that why would I quarrel with them? That is because I, one, I don't expect everybody to like me. Mm -hmm. If everybody likes me, there's danger. Mm. I don't expect everybody to be happy with me. So I have to manage those who are not happy with me with those who are happy with me because as a leader, I have to learn from those who are not happy. Why are they not happy? And learn from those who are happy. The, the basic and the most important job of a leader is to listen and learn. Mm. But then to be firm in taking decisions that are for the good of everybody. Mm. Mm. You know, and because of it, wherever I go, I study. A driver brought me here. It was somebody's driver. The first thing I asked him this morning is, how much do they pay you? Mm. What do you earn? How many children do you have? Mm. Where I went now, I stop. More travels with me. In any country I go, I go to the market and ask people, how do you live? Mm. What do you do? Because I believe that in life, unless the poor people are happy, the life is not worth living. Mm. My mom knows I'm a businessman. He, 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 he controls that. Yes, he, he can say to me, oh, you won't go this way. If you, I have a very wonderful relationship with my mother because she's a trader and she likes trading. She likes hard work because if I use this, he, he can tell other people, he say, listen, Peter cannot be sleeping by five. If you see somebody who is sleeping by six, he said, no, no, no. Because you know, I cannot sleep beyond five o'clock, even to today. Mm. No, even if I sleep by three, I must get up by five. And everything I've done in school, if you, if you ask people who was in school with me, they will tell you everything I do, because you must have self-discipline. Even to go to parties in school, people know that the time Peter becomes, is the time he goes. Mm. And they'll say, ah, Peter, you know, then of course I have friends, even girlfriends, who say, oh, why don't we stay an hour more? I say, no, no, no. That even my kid Jackson, he doesn't dance all through night and he lives off dancing. <laughs> there's a time he comes, there's a time he goes. So me, who is now listening to his music and not dance all through night. <laughs> no, 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 no. There must be a time for me to come, there's a time for me to go. Mm. And, you know, so everybody knows, they'll say, Peter is here, he's going to leave this. When he goes, I say, okay. If you want to dance more, you can dance and come back. But for me, and, um, I'm going. He says, everything must have be organized. Be. And that's what happens to me today. People say, oh, how can you go to five places in one day? I said, because I've been there. If I come to a place where they are doing something and greet them, I move on. Mm. I'm not going to be there. But it's not there. So you must live a disciplined life and say, I don't do this. I will not do this. I will not do this. I will not do this. There are things, and again, as you get on in life, again, positions you have confess that you must show 
an example. Mm. You must live that disciplined true, life. True. And everything. There are things you tell my wife now, I would tell you, no, Peter can do this. If you tell my children, it's difficult, you know. It's difficult because I live with them there. They too have their own different lifestyle and all that. So my mother is very disciplined. And, and the things they requested from me that everybody knows I cannot do. For example, I can't 